Section 2 passed this month and recreational marijuana will be legal in Ohio in a matter of weeks. While it won't be criminal to possess, there still might be some restrictions. Joining us now is Jason Hilliard, a partner at Densmore and Shoal with more on the legal ramifications of weed in the workplace. Thanks so much for being here. Good to be with you. Well, currently 24 states plus D.C. have legalized marijuana, including Ohio. But one could imagine this kind of creates some objections to companies who have drug testing policies as part of maybe their onboarding process, perhaps random drug screenings. So first, plainly, do businesses have to accommodate their employees and their personal use? They do not. And as an employment lawyer that represents mostly employers, I've got a lot of questions and emails that last week or so since issue two has passed. And for most businesses, it is business as usual with respect to their policies in terms of testing for drugs and in terms of drug free workplace policies. If someone tests positive for marijuana, they can still be terminated. You can refuse to hire them and you can be disciplined for testing positive for marijuana. The law that passed has a specific provision in the Ohio Revised Code that spells this out for employers. Well, Quick question. So it seems like in states where this has already been enacted, there are two very distinct positions. Some businesses fully embracing it, saying it prompts creativity. Others still have that zero tolerance policy like you just referenced. So if you're a business owner here in Ohio making these considerations, how should workplace safety play into that decision? Workplace safety is certainly always a concern. And depending on the business, workplace safety is a greater concern for some businesses. For example, if you're operating heavy machinery, workplace safety is very important and drug testing policies are important in that industry. Well, quickly, it's harder to prove someone is actually under the influence of marijuana on the job. How might this create conflict in terms of wrongful termination lawsuits? That's a great question. So employers typically have zero tolerance policies. In other words, if you test positive for any amount of marijuana, you can be terminated. And that applies to both random testing and testing after an accident, for example. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it answering those questions. Thank you. And we'll be back with more after the break. Stick around.